So here we are with the 1935 Packard uh, Standard 8 Phaeton. So I have a lot of attachment to this car since I've toured, I've, I've been on numerous tours with it. Uh, this is, uh, I personally have toured all through about 1,500 miles through western Montana with the Classic Car Club. Uh, I know this has also been to Alaska, it's been to the East Coast, it's been through uh, Arizona. Uh, each caravan, uh, at least about 1,500 miles. And I've been all through Southern California with this car as well, in every kind of weather. And it is just a spectacular car. Okay, so um, just want to show you some of the driving characteristics of this 1935 Packard Phaeton. Um, okay, starting off in first. Shifting into second. It's hard to do this by myself with, you know, one hand, but... So you just shift slow and go through the gears. And uh, viewing beautiful wine country. So now here we have the uh, overdrive. So now I put it into what would essentially be fourth gear using the mechanical overdrive. And you can see that on a, it's, it's probably about 95 degrees right now outside. The engine's running at about 170, 175. You see the gas gauge, the speedometer. Um, the, I think the clock, I don't know if the clock works or not, but we'll, we'll find out later. The oil pressure and the amp, amperage are excellent. So, um, anyway, it really, you know, actually with the overdrive, um, I've, I've comfortably cruised at between 60 and 70, and brakes on, on these uh, cars are excellent, um, and especially with the new radials, uh, you know, you, you can feel that much more confident in the uh, ability of the car from a steering and uh, braking standpoint as well. So now starting off, I remove the overdrive. That's, by the way, that's not me, that's somebody else, uh, a fan belt. Um, and uh, of course, if you want to really be annoying, you can blow the horn here. You see the horn? Mm -hmm. And the air horns uh, make some noise and let people know you're here. 